the question number 13 is about finding the values of trigonometric functions of general angles the method is a particular method and all the problems are similar let's look into a problem here you will have like this this is it this is the question the terminal side of theta in standard position contains each point find the exact value of six trigonometric functions of theta how would you do this now all the thing information is x and y coordinates that's it that's the only things you know now let's graph this up let's see what would happen if you just say you are the coordinate now x value is over here y value is here imagine this is phi and 12 is somewhere up over here imagine this is 12 so you will get a point over here right now if you draw a line from the center this is the line now i will just join it down this one a right angle triangle is formed a y right angle triangle because you can see this is the hypotenuse and this is coming down vertical right this would be 90 and this would be 90 degrees hypotenuse now this is theta imagine the, uh, this will be the theta so opposite is over here and adjacent is over here this is the uh, this is what we can understand from this given two points now what are the values let's look adjacent is what this is the x x and y this is the x axis right x axis phi this value is given as phi right over here phi this much is phi this distance now what about this height that was 12 how do you find the hypotenuse now generally it's taken as r radius how do we do from the you know the pythagoras theorem all we require is r equals now since this is x i'll take it as root of x squared plus y squared now this is how we can easily find the hypotenuse or r then let's write r equals what phi square plus 12 square and you will get the answer phi square is 25 plus 144 and that will be 54 64 69 this is square root of 13 uh, sorry answer is 13 plus or minus 13 so let me just write it over here 13 so our value is 13 okay this is how we find r that is the hypotenuse now here you need to find the trigonometric functions so what are the trigonometric functions sine cos tan right let's write sine theta cos theta tan theta the inverse the reciprocal let's write it later on first let's write this what is sine exactly sine is opposite by hypotenuse now what is opposite over here is this y line so we can just write y by r cos is x by r tan is y by x because it's opposite by cos sine by cos the r r cancels and this would be the answer this is it now substitute the values you know what is y value it's 2r divided by r value is just now found out 13 x is 5 by 13 and lastly we have y by x 12 by 5 now what about inverse reciprocal of sine sine reciprocal would be if s then we have to start with c cosecant cosecant theta that is r by y just inverse of this reciprocal of this then there is secant and lastly we have cotangent and what will be secant it will be r by x this will be x by y the substitution will be just inverse of this 13 by 12 now what is r again it's 13 by 5 and lastly we have 5 by 12 this would be the answers now these are all the trigonometric functions a simple graph will give us a lot of details and then we can find r and do this now since this is in question number 13 this i did was just for your understanding in your exam you do not need to do that why because you can just start directly finding r and memorize this you should know these formulas whenever it's sine y is up over here cos it's x we will see it over here see now that's that's the graph and then they're using r value that was 13 we found out and then the formulas see these formulas are very important if you remember them in this format x and y 
then you can easily solve it up. You use easily substitute and get the answer even without the uh, diagram. So you can see why sine is y because sine is opposite. Opposite is y axis over here. And adjacent is x axis. So cos will have x, sine will have y and divided by radius itself. That's the hypotenuse. And this is just the reciprocal of it. And this is how we can easily solve it up. Now the second problem, please do it by yourselves and then check with the answers. Now I will do it directly without the graph. Let's see. Here, first step. R equals square root x squared plus y squared. Now substitute what is x squared. It's 3 squared plus 4 squared. That would be square root of 9 plus 16. That is square root 9 plus 16 is 25. That is 5. R is found out to be 5. So x is 3, y is 4, r is 5. Sine, I don't, I don't even need to write the formula, but I know it is y by r. I'll directly write 5 by 4 by 5. Cos 3 by 5. Tan is y by x, not x by y. It's y by x, it's 4 by 3. Now here, uh, cosecant, cosecant. Inverse of this 5 by 4, secant 5 by 3. And lastly, cotangent theta is equal to 3, 4. This would be the final answers. And you can see the graph is not required, but the answers are same. 5 we got. And look at these answers. 4 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 3. Here we have 5 by 4, 5 by 3, 3 by 4. It will be the same answers. So this is how we can easily do these problems. You can uh, solve the others by yourself. Just pause the value, pause the video to do it by yourself and then check for the answers. Here there is minus sign but doesn't matter. Look here. When you put R, the sign, uh, when you square it, the sign dissolves, you know. So it will be positive itself. You will find the R value and then you just substitute. Over here, but see now, sine, cos and tan. Now what happens? The sign remains, okay. This is very important. R value is found out. Now, when you're substituting y, remember to add minus. See, this has minus. But whereas cos doesn't have minus, why? Because it's x and r, both are positive. Here there is minus. Here there is minus. Because wherever there is y, there'll be a minus sign. Where there is no y, there won't be a minus sign. That's it. Same thing with this one. Over here, just that the x value is negative. So whichever has x, that is like sine, tan, and other things, will have negative sign. Here, first the diagram, over here this point, so this is the theta which we are solving for, this is the r, and over here we can find all the values. Very easy, so please do them by yourselves and uh, check for the answers. Even over here, both are negative, so which quadrant exactly? You can see this will be in the third quadrant. Here all are positive, x is negative, y is positive, both are negative, and x is positive, y is negative. In the sense, you just have to see this, this one, x, this is positive, right? This side, x is negative. Here, y is positive, y is negative. That means here we have plus x, x is plus, y is minus. Here we have both minus and minus, x and y. Here we have x minus y plus, and here lastly, both are plus x and y. This is the concept. But even if you do not know, because see, if it was writing, yes, you had to draw this. But here, since it's MCQ, if they ask you different graphs, you can easily figure it out. This is just minus 9 and minus 40. But what if they have, you know, uh, sorry, here, what I'm trying to say is they won't, uh, this is not so necessary, but you need to find the trigonometric uh, functions. That is very important. See this one R and then just substitute, direct substitution in this formula and you'll get the answers. Please do the same thing in the other problems as well. You can see, check the answers over here. All the detailed solutions are there. If you want this presentation, which I'm using, it is available in the description below. Please click on the link and you can download the presentation with the solutions. So here you can see there is again another easy problem. 
so directly now it's just that your r value is root 8 or 4 root 5 so make sure you substitute it accordingly here it will be y by r what is y value it is 4 divided by r values over here then you can write it as 1 by root 5 or root 5 by 5 this is by simplification here for this just multiply and divide by root 5 denominator becomes for whole number 5 and above is root number 5 uh, same thing again 4 and 4 that's it substitute get the answers there's nothing much in these problems they are all straightforward even over here there is nothing much please do them by yourselves and then check for the answers if it's complicated you, you can use a calculator anytime but just make sure you do this method itself to find the answers rather than any other method so this one over here as well easy and straightforward um, here you can see x is positive y is negative that means it is in the fourth quadrant uh, sorry x is positive y is negative i apologize this graph is wrong the graph is i think so previous no it's some other graph i apologize for this here this is the second quadrant minus 8 minus 12 but this one is a different graph altogether but these answers are correct you can see the graph is the only problem i'm sorry for that uh, here this is in the okay i have misplaced the graph this graph is over here guys this is this graph and the previous graph which i showed is for this problem uh no it's not for that it's some other problem but anyways I, i'm sorry for that i misplaced the graphs but the answer is very simple see the answers are same you don't even need these graphs for the answer it's very very simple just make sure you do these formulas correctly and then you can easily solve it now here what's the difference 3 and 0 let's graph okay they are not grafted but i'll just tell you let, let me graph it over here what happens when you graph this let's take this coordinate x is 3 y is 0 so y is 0 over here x is 1 2 3 at this point so this is basically your point right this much from here to here what is the theta there's no angle form what is r value r would be square root x square plus y square now here it will be square 3 a 3 square plus 0 square it's the same answer right 3 square is 9 root of that is 3 so r and x are the same things here you can see here r and x are same only y what is y is there any elevation no it's zero because it's mentioned zero now all you need to do is substitute the given values sine y by r see now zero divided by three it's zero cos is three by three tan is zero by three same way over here now when you go to cosecant it's division by zero which is undefined this is undefined secant it's one but as cotangent is again undefined because you're dividing by the y uh, y coordinate that's zero that's the thing some undefined now here the x value see in the previous one x was there now here x value is zero same thing same graph all you just need to do is the point will be over here zero from here let me just change the color from zero to minus seven all this okay that is the solution now the radius and the y value are the same see y and radius are the same but over here what is the difference sorry i forgot to tell you this y will be negative because it's given negative but when you find r the negative sign dissolves and will be a positive value only so you basically take the positive r equals positive so y here x square is zero square but y square is negative seven the whole square it will be 49 then you will get 49 uh, root of 49 is 7 so that's the thing r is positive whereas all uh, y will be negative itself but x is 0 so here there are again some undefined values which are those undefined values here at tan because x is in the denominator and secant x is the denominator are undefined all the others can be solved some are 0 and some are uh, minus 1 again the same one guys we just now did it so please do these by yourselves and check for the answers very easy and very simple problems 
that is the end of the topic number 13. Please practice more problems. Make sure you remember the formulas of sine, cos, tan, secant, cosecant and cotangent. No matter what, these are very important formulas. Substitute them and substitute the correct answers accordingly. X and Y will be given. Only R is needed to be found out and then substitution.